Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to create a square wave generator in MATLAB. So I will show you different ways you can do it. Of course, first I will show you in Simulink, in simple Simulink model. Then I will show you in MATLAB function. And towards the end, I will show you how you can use S function, level 2 S function to create this uh, uh, square wave gen generator. I know the uh, in Simulink you have got a direct block where you can create any kind of wave, either square or a sine. But in this, we'll use our sine wave as an input to uh, generate a square wave out of it. So let's start. So first, I'll create an empty Simulink model for this. Before I do something, I'll save this model. I'll just say a square wave. Uh, using MATLAB function and S function. Okay. I think I'm not sure why it gave an error. So let's try something like that. Function. Yes, okay. So that hyphen was not an acceptable. Uh, file name uh, character in uh, MATLAB no problem so let's uh, start so let's first build it using a simple uh, model simulink model but before I do that let me do it using a, a simple uh, I just want to show you you have got this option you can directly get a, a square wave using waveform generator but uh, I won't be using this I've used sine wave as my input so the purpose of this video is to show you MATLAB function and uh, S function how you can use it. So I will switch to my uh, sine wave and I will use the source and uh, I will use a scope. Probably number of inputs I will need is 2 and yeah so I connect the first one over here and before we do something let me simulate this and see. So we get a sine wave. This is the first signal. Yellow color is always the first uh, signal to a scope, and blue one is the second. Now let's do the uh, square wave conversion of this sine wave. So for that we will need a simple switch block, uh, which switches between uh, for uh, between minus one to one uh, for this sine wave value greater than zero, less than zero. So we need constant block. So I have one constant block with value one and another one with value probably minus one and I can take it up over here like this looks good and this looks good and I can take it this one like this I connect this over here I connect this over here and I connect this to this yes. now if I simulate I'm expecting this blue line to change into the my a square wave format. Yes, so it it changes when uh, sine wave goes to negative. My square wave goes to negative. So this is one of the simple model. Uh, so now let's uh, do the same thing using a MATLAB function block. So for that we can just type MATLAB fu function and we can type it here. So it takes one input and one output. So for the input we need a time of our simulation so for that we can put a clock which will give a, a clock input to us for output uh, again what we'll do is we will have this scope here and inside this let's now get inside this MATLAB function first we complete this MATLAB function and we need two output so one is for sine wave so that will be y1 and then y2 for the second one and u will be our input that's fine and our y1 will become nothing but sine of u and our y2 will become a square wave so again I will use the same principle what I used over here that's if else condition so I will use if y1 greater than 0 y2 equal to 1 
else y2 equal to minus 1 and so I save it I do as and for this function I just save it now if I go back to my model so if you see we already have got two <coughs> ports here so we connect those two ports as it is to this one perfect we can probably make it a little bigger okay no problem now let's uh, we have already our first scope open on the top let's open the second scope which is scope 1 and just you can name the scopes but I will leave it as it is so this is my first scope this is my second scope and let's simulate and see what happens yeah see so even in a scope one which is this one probably I should do this uh, I'm not sure why this blocks name are not coming by default hide block name show block name perfect okay you know I'll do the hide block name so so that I know that yes that this is a scope and this is a scope one so <coughs> this was a simple MATLAB uh, function using which we can achieve the same now let's do it using the level 2 s function so for that let's uh, put level 2 s function just you can type level 2 and this option will come and s function name probably what we can do give is uh, square the for problem it doesn't matter even the name doesn't matter the input to this also will be my same uh, uh, clock and output should be something similar what we are see seeing on the top so before we proceed let's uh, uh, because in uh, this uh, uh, s function level 2 we will need to we will need to have a uh, do this coding ourselves so we have two options one is you can write it from scratch but mostly what I do is uh, instead of that I because this .m file doesn't exist so what I will do is I will just uh, copy the template file which the mathworks provides so for the template file of s function you can just type m s fun template so I think it should be this one this uh, one and if you edit uh, so it will be in your the default installation directory somewhere and you can just control C and add a, uh, so I just copied the complete template uh, scripts from there and I have to just change this name so that I can save it as per my S function name and my S function name is nothing but a square waveform I just copy it from here go back to my code control V control S and S function waveform yes dot M yes so now my at least a template is ready now so before we proceed anything you can even uh, quickly probably simulate and see if what happens uh, when you simulate and before that what I can do is I can again have a one of these scopes here and save and simulate so there is some error let's see what saying it says for you to make sure this is okay yeah so since we are not giving any parameters or arguments here so we should probably remove that check parameters callback in the setup uh, function of this s function so i will show you the code i will not get in, into the details of s function uh, this code structure that you will get lots of training material but briefly i will explain you in, in the initial part of this level 2 s function they give a setup option where they set up all the interfaces ports parameters and various uh, things which you require for this particular block so in our this particular code uh, I think there should be something called uh, parameter somewhere so top 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 I am not able to find it okay yeah here it is so check params so this is a one function which probably we don't need so let's see it's, it's being checked at line number 102 I'll just comment it out you don't need this and also since I am commenting out this particular function is not being called at all so I'm just selecting this and commenting out the complete uh, function as well so once I comment it out I'll go back to my uh, model and sum it once again so again we have some issue so it says the expected number of direct parameters of this is 
3D. So somewhere it's defined as 3D, and of course we have not given, so it's zero from uh, from our side. So let's see where it is saying. Oh, the one problem is it will not give you the line number exactly. It will just point to the block. So in the code, you may have to do it manually. Search that where have they given this uh, number of parameters as 3D. So I am just scrolling uh, over here. I just it was just coincidence. I got it so quickly that you can see it says uh, register the parameters and it says number of direct parameters is 3D. So probably we have to make it to zero. And once we have made it to zero, then probably we don't need parameters uh, properties. So I'll make it. I will just comment it out. And now if I go back and simulate. No, everything seems to find there is one warning and but of course we can ignore it of course it's not connected that's why that warning is coming okay so now to proceed uh, let's start our uh, coding I just double click to open this and I can see that yellow line is just like what is happening is it's just passing the input the clock and it's passing the uh, it as an output so let's see uh, what are the things which we can do here so in the setup uh, number of inputs is one but outputs we need two because uh, we will have one for our simple sine wave and second one is for the square wave which will transform uh, it then input remains same but over here for outputs we will need for second one also we need have to do the same so we can just do is control C and we can make one more copy of this this becomes simple since template was already there we have to just Make sure that we everything falls into place for the second port as well, the way we want to modify it. Okay. And once we have done that, probably we can scroll down a bit slowly so that we can see that we don't miss out any of the uh, properties of uh, our art. Hmm, there is nothing, I think. Oh, these are ports, but not an output. So these are the calls to the methods. A function so whatever you can call mm -hmm. yeah here it is so here it is uh, <coughs> setting the uh, frame data so I'll make it again for the second one as well the same sampling mode and for input port dimension I will make it again for the second one also same and what else I don't think I need to do it over here this other thing should be fine is what I think and now we can go and do our coding uh, so code will be start will by default do something one thing I can tell you this debug what you are seeing these are like internal data of these blocks or like a states you can say so since we are not using any states we can just ignore those part or you can even just delete it but for the simplicity of this uh, video, I'll just leave it as it is. Uh, in this outputs function, so this is the main function where uh, your output will be determined. So right now what we are doing is output port 1 is equal to the D work that is the state uh, plus input 1. So input port is our uh, clock what we are giving it here in this uh, model. So I'll just try to modify it. And what we'll need is we'll need probably in the first one we need to change it into a sine wave so this becomes our first uh, output and the second one will become mm, probably uh, if our this data is greater than zero if this is greater than zero then make my this uh, second data equal to 1 else else make it equal to minus 1 and yes I think this should be sufficient and yeah so if we run this let's go and see if we, we can run it we can just close this we don't need this and we can go in our model and run it yeah okay so after the first now you could have done the update diagram as well so it would have created the uh, second port so now we have two outputs and uh, everything is fine so uh, we can check 
<laughs> something is there let, let's simulate it again because we are coming okay so somehow I'm not getting what I was expecting so let's go back in our code and see what's going wrong here okay so if you notice what I have done is I by mistake I forgot to change it to 2 so that's why we were getting that kind of uh, uh, for waveform so let's simulate it again and see yes see so after we change it so this yellow is the first one first output so that's a pure sinusoidal waveform and second one changes to square waveform because of how this if else logic here in the code so we can have all three scopes open one by one another so this is my scope 2 a scope 1, a scope 2 of course you could have made only one scope and given all the inputs to that one scope but I wanted to show you something also what you can do is you can make one more copy of clock here probably like this to make it uh, if you want to have a separate uh, uh, functions so you can have it like this it, it won't uh, matter at all you'll get the same output so here it is so I hope this video explain you nicely how you can use MATLAB function or uh, and S function blocks within your uh, simulating model to generate a, a square wave form. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please put in my comment section. For if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.